Welcome to Tasmania, the beautiful island state at the bottom of Australia. We invite you to come and experience our special way of life as you prepare for the biggest event on the global sporting stage, the FIFA Women's World Cup for 2023. With a population of 540,000 people, Tasmania, or Tassie as the locals call it, might be Australia's smallest state, but it enjoys a huge passion for football. buzz around the football community. We've got the most participants we've had in about six years. Um, we've got just under 30% female participation, which is actually the highest proportion of anywhere in Australia. So we're really proud of that. This excitement includes spending millions of dollars to revamp and improve some of Tasmania's best football pitches to ensure they are chosen as team base camps for the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023. Oh, it would be so amazing. So like, so not to get games in Tasmania is really disappointing because we are such a beautiful state. Um, but if a country were to base here and we'd have that atmosphere and that energy, it would just be everything for, for female football in Tasmania, for sure. Um, not, o not only Australia-wide. Our government is investing 10 million to upgrade football facilities right across this state. This work, which has already commenced, will ensure these facilities will provide everything that a visiting team will need. Thanks to this investment by the state government, we can offer four base camp sites throughout Tasmania. The facilities at them are second to none and offer significant advantages over other sites around mainland Australia. We've got facilities in the northwest, the north and the south of the state, each of which has their own airport, uh, which has charter capacity. Uh, really good hotels in those sites, um, venues in close proximity to the hotels and also close to the airport and really easy to get around for our visiting teams and good privacy as well which we know is important for these teams. If you're in Europe and you look at Australia it's one big desert with Tasmania as the temperate part down the bottom. It's safe, it's got great facilities, we've got airports that can cope with the number of charter flights that are likely to be coming in and out. We've got a welcoming community. We've got a supportive state government. It's going to be so easy for these teams to, to feel at home here, which of course is really what they want to be doing uh, while they're competing in the, in the world's biggest tournament for female footballers. Located in Launceston is Churchill Park, a huge facility which is home to junior football in the north of the state. More than 2,000 players compete each weekend at the venue. It's a very important facility for the Launceston community, in particular for the younger children of the Launceston community. We provide soccer fields here and of a weekend through the winter months, there's in excess of 2,000 uh, families coming through here for local club soccer. Launceston sells itself. We're famous uh, the world over for our warm welcome, for people coming here, for FIFA teams coming to Launceston. You get all the benefits of the big city without any of the hassles, and I think that's what Launceston really has to offer. There's great uh, accommodation in the city, basically within walking distance to the football facility, so that's great. Um, getting to Launceston is really easy. Work at Churchill Park has already begun and will include new change rooms and amenities, as well as two brand new pitches with new lighting. I think it'll be incredible. Um, soccer, and in particular women's soccer in Launceston at the moment, is really starting to um, build its numbers and be such a prominent part of the community. And I just think having all those, you know, couple of hundred girls that we have down at this club, have seen, being able to see such a high level of soccer being played in their local club will just it'll really inspire them and really get all their friends down and yeah, it'll be incredible. Yeah. 